السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everyone Welcome back to my channel And this is my new short video Which will be about the maintenance management First of all, let's say that maintenance touches upon every part of your company's assets and resources The definition of the maintenance management we can define the maintenance management as it is the process of maintaining the company's assets and resources. The purpose of the maintenance management. The purpose of the maintenance management is to ensure that the production proceeds efficiently and also that the resources are used effectively. The maintenance management is one of those aspects of managing a company that is usually not explored in depth. People outside of the maintenance industry may not realize how much time and effort go into making the flow of products through the supply chains to the general world. Let's go in depth on these important processes and understand why they are important. The objectives of the maintenance management Usually any business process has some objectives and the maintenance management also is the same. There are five main objectives of the maintenance management which are budgeting, scheduling work, Regulation compliance, optimizing work, and finally improving safety. The first objective is budgeting. Maintenance managers usually work with a limited budget, and they might have many different items to spend this budget. When there is a greater budget transparency, then we have a greater potential to leverage the funds available. Second objective is scheduling work. Scheduling employees and personnel is always a delicate balancing act. When equipment is not maintained well, the company schedule could be quickly thrown off balance. This objective impacts many more aspects of the company, not only the maintenance management. The third objective is regulation compliance. It's easy to lose track of all the regulations that you must keep track on. However, most of these regulations don't change often and could be tracked fairly and easily. You have some tools like quality maintenance management teams and the software, which will keep you up to date with the information to comply with the regulations. The fourth objective, optimizing work. You have to know that the well-maintained equipment optimizes all the workflows and as a result, it will optimize the employee efficiency and the company productivity. The last objective, improving safety. If the safety levels increase, when the maintenance is properly managed, then the equipment breaks down less often. Locations are better maintained and the small risks such as improper cleaned floors and shelves are dealt with in a timely way, then you have less accident, we can say accident free. 
And now, this is the time to discuss the types of the maintenance management. We have to know that not all maintenance management is the same. And here are some of the different types of the maintenance management and the rules for business. First one is time-based maintenance or planned maintenance. It's also called preventative maintenance. Time-based maintenance is an umbrella term we are using to describe all maintenance that is based on a calendar. For example, we can include the daily, the weekly, the monthly, and any more tasks that need to be done at the same time, every time. The second one, the predictive maintenance. It is a type of condition-based maintenance that especially monitors assets condition using sensors. And from the data we are getting from the sensors, we can act accordingly. The third one is run to failure or reactive maintenance. It is the simplest type of the maintenance management. Run to failure maintenance. It is a reaction based maintenance. When asset breaks, this maintenance will be performed. It's very easy. The benefits of the maintenance management. As a positive result of the general objectives of maintenance management, we will get some benefits which are cost savings. By measuring and analyzing our assets on a regular basis, we will be able to determine where improvement will be needed. These costs could be calculated well in advance, and this will enable our company to find the best price of the new or the improved assets. Improved workplace safety. The proper maintained equipment and the well-kept facilities prevent more employee accidents than most other business safety measures. This is particularly true on a day-to-day -day basis. Enhance productivity. When the workplaces are safer and when the employees don't have to worry about as many daily risks, particularly risks due to equipment failures, this has a different impact on the overall productivity. Minimize human error. The well-maintained facility also decreases the chances of human errors. This is particularly true when aspects of maintenance become automated. That was my short video about the maintenance management. Hope you enjoyed and thank you for your watching time. Goodbye.